So I don't know a girl, right? I don't know. I just see you. I don't know you. But when I see you, I'm going to think about whatever is that you're accentuating to me, whatever is that you're trying to message to the world. I'm going to look at it because what you decide to accentuate. So it's already in my mind clicking in my head. Like, it's already, damn, you got nice boobs. Damn, you got a fat butt. Damn, you got a pretty face. Damn, you got nice lips. Oh, look, you got nice ears. You got, whatever, right? Whatever it is that you decide to highlight. It's already in here. It's already in your head. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm a pervert. You're also a pervert. Because not to the thing you're thinking exactly like me. The only difference is that you're not verbalizing it to the world. You decide to keep it to yourself. And you're only going to say certain things that you want to say. But you already been saw she has a fat ass. And you thought, oh, that girl got a fat ass. You been saw she has big boobs. And you said, oh, she got big boobs. But you only chose to say, oh, she has a nice smile. That's what I'm trying to say. So me, the only difference between me and you is that I decide to verbalize certain things just because I'm with the guys. I'm with the, I don't have to be with guys. I can be with girls and say, damn, that girl got a fat butt. Whatever. I'm just commenting on it. But if I was by myself, I wouldn't say it out loud. Damn, that girl got a fat butt. I just, <laughs> it'll be in my head, though. It will always be in my head. And I think most guys are just like that. You choose, though, what you want to say, what you're comfortable saying. I don't really care. I'm comfortable saying, yo, you got a fat butt. You got, between the I, I, I agree, that we're in. I, I agree with it to a certain extent. I just think that Bruh. your view is a little no, no. presumptuous. This is let, the thing. let me explain to you the, the reason why, right? Because I believe that out of the abundance of your heart speaks your tongue. Okay. Right? So on certain occasions, maybe I'm cautious and I'm saying, you know what? I, I was thinking all of these things, but I'm only going to say this. Okay. But if continuously that's not how I speak about women, then you can examine my heart and be like, you know what, that's not really Chris speaks. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I can be careful about sometimes how I watch my mouth. Mm -hmm. But eventually in the long run, especially when we have so much, you're going to start seeing all things that are really going to come out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I can't hide it sometimes. So if you start seeing a pattern where most of the time I don't speak a woman in a sexual way, then you can start seeing, oh, Chris is actually... Chris is guarding the way he sees women. And that's the thing, is a choice. And that's where I feel like you and I don't see it. Because you think, oh, it's, it, I agree that it's natural for a man to sexual as a woman. But I also believe that you have the choice to grow and try to grow out of that pattern. The same way you have a choice to start seeing people beyond what they wear. Right? Like, you have the choice. Right? Don't you have the choice? Because you can look at somebody and be like, because you think everybody's automatically going to be here always. I think we always have space to grow. And there's a grace for that. That's no, no, no. why I am at. That's not what I'm saying. That's not... Okay, listen. This is the thing. So, you're saying that you have space to grow and not look at women and not think like that. And I can respect that. I can understand exactly what you're saying. I could... I, maybe not understand, but I understand what you're trying to convey, right? I could... And I can respect it. That, yes, you can grow out of that, right? You can grow out of... Oh, I don't want to sexualize them, right? Because you made the choice to say, you know what? Naturally, I'm looking at a girl and I'm thinking, damn, nice butt, nice boobs, uh, whatever. And that's why I agree with you. Naturally, naturally right? Naturally. You naturally. But now I'm going to make the effort to not think like that, right? So what do you do, right, when you're out and about and you try not to think like that? You're nine times out of ten, not even going to try to really look at the girl's body, period. I agree. Right? And you have to make that. Now, I uh, listen, I can 100% understand that and respect that. If that was a conversation that we were having... We but can I, have it. I call but, you a perv. <laughs> exactly. I'm a perv, but you call me a perv. And the thing is that I, to this very moment, I will not consider me to be a pervert for everything that a, a man does naturally. Because a pervert has that like, oh man, you're so perverted. We used to call guys in high school perverted. The guys that will Creep. talk it yeah, creeps. and be like, yo girl, I will eat you out like this. And yeah. guys that just look at girls and flick their tongue out. Those are the guys that we call perverts, right? But now we have a different word So for now... Them. What's that? Verbal assault. <laughs> right, right. And all of that sexual assault and all of this stuff. Right, because we've grown out of... But those are the guys that we call perverts, so... I, I understand. That's what I'm saying. Like, I understand that like, to you, pervert is like that, that scum. Right? That's really what it is. Let's be honest. Like that creep that has no filter in their mouth. In, right? In, in the sense... Yeah. Se so but I understand. Is, is, I understand why you, you see it like that. Nah. But if you look at the word as a con, like the real definition of the word, it's like, you know, distortion. But then, but then when you say that, that doesn't necessarily just apply to men, right? It no, no. to other things. To everything. Right? We, that, we pervert. Oh, that painting is perverted. No, no, no. We pervert everything. But you can say that painting is perverted. We pervert everything. Like, for example, one of the, you see these things is perverting words. Words that were never intended to be certain things mean certain things. Now. Okay. Right. Right. right? And, and so, like, uh, a lot of the slurs we use, they were not actually.
actual slur. You look at the dictionary definition of what's this word. They're not cussing. They're not offensive. But because we use it in the context of culture, we perverted this word. Okay. And that's what I mean by pervert. It's the distortion of something. It's not, yo, you are a creep rapist. I don't think George is a okay. rapist. So this, this, I think that all of this just comes down to perspective. Yeah, so right? I'm telling you. That's why, in your view, I understand what yeah. you don't think. But I can easily argue. And we both could be right, because I think right now we're both right. Like, if you say, yo, Chris, but every guy at one point struggles with the idea of sexualizing a woman, now so that's true. Because mm-hmm. there's moments where you cut yourself off, to be honest. And, and also, and also, the thing you said, you said, like, oh, seeing see women as a whole. And I understand you what you mean. can't see a I woman as a whole. No, no, but I understand what you mean, a whole. Like, you mean whole, and you're thinking spirit, mind, and soul. Oh, I can't tell about her yeah. mind, I can't tell about her soul. But that is a woman as a whole. No, 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 no. I know, but I'm saying the fact that I don't see certain things, like, for example, you said something, the example of the genes, right? If let's be honest, if a guy comments on a girl's jeans, girl, jeans are really nice. The girl and the guy both like the girl that, that <laughs> hears you, and the guys that are gonna hear you be like, well, he actually means your butt looks nice in those jeans, right? Most likely, yeah. right? Let's be honest, yeah, right? Yeah, because likely. we have this culture of distortion. But what if a guy actually met your jeans are nice? We've talked about how sometimes you can't compliment a woman because she thinks you're being sexual. Yeah. Or right? you're trying to hit because her. she's also distorted the view of compliments, mm-hmm. right? Right. And we've distorted the view of compliments, and I think that that in itself plays the idea of what's pervert and what's not pervert. Right. Because how can I know how you said a statement? Yeah, like like you don't know the intentions. For behind example, like when I say uh, yeah, like a girl has a, uh, she has a really pretty face. You know, if, since you think it's sexual, you think oh Chris checking her out. Mm-hmm. Maybe to me I was like wow she really has just a pretty face. That's just what I was thinking. But because we're not in each other's body. And so I think that that's the part of communication that's so important, even arguments sometimes, is because I understand I can't relate to everything you think, and you can't relate to everything I think. Right, right. Because we both have different gaps of struggles, and we're like, oh, no, 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 this is all I meant. Like, you know, sometimes you have to clean it up and be like, no, no, bro, I wasn't looking at her like that. I was just trying to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah. It's like, because there's a distortion, there's a perversion in there. And right. that's what I mean. I don't mean like, yo, you're a perv, you're going to rape a girl. <laughs> like, that's not what I meant. Right, and, and I know that, I know that. But it's just breaking it down, though, is like, okay... Even, you know, okay, so what do you mean, I guess, by your view? What do you mean by seeing a woman as, like you said, oh, I see a woman as a whole. What do you mean by that? Like, for example, there's days that I'll be like, yo, I'll see a girl and be like, wow, that girl looks very pretty today. Mm-hmm. That was not sexual to me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But yeah. somebody else might say like, yo, you checking her out. And I'm yeah. like, no, it's just that normally I see her, she's wearing sweats, whatever. Mm-hmm. Today she decided to do her hair, whatever. And I think she's pretty, but it doesn't. I don't see her sexual. I don't see like any of that. That's what I mean. Like to me, like there's a distinction between appreciating somebody because they're they're either having a good day or yeah, they yeah. dressed well, or whatever, yeah. and actually sexualizing somebody. You know, okay, but look, that that's that's kind of why I said it's all about in the time that you're in, right? The time, for example, like for me, right? I'm in the time right now where I can I have the freedom. Well, you always have the freedom, but I have the freedom. And every man has a free, right? So look at a girl and say what they want to say, right? I'm at a time now where I look at a girl and you look really good. Yeah, you know, I just think you look really good. And I just want to make that comment out there, right? Like, but it's not like I'm, I'm not going to make you feel awkward about it. I'm just going to say within the trusted group of yeah, friends. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Right? Saying. For the most part. But then when you say, oh, see a woman as a whole. Like, for example, okay, I'll give you an example, right? Like, let's say like back then when I was like, when I was actually lame. Like, actually like a lame guy. <laughs> I used to look at a girl. I used to be like, damn, like, you're really pretty. And in, in my mind, I fell in love with the idea of oh, who you she could, could be, you be yeah, for me. Be. I could understand if you would have said that, right? And that's seeing a woman as a whole because it's like, at, at least, at least, again, this is when I was a lame guy, okay? So you could definitely kill me for this one, right? But at least when I was younger, that's how you should think. Like, like at least if you would have told me this, like, let's say four years ago, I would have been thinking like that. Like, okay, you know. You can be like this kind of girl. I'm not looking at you like, oh, dad, I just want to smash and I say, get me like, it's, it's not like that. <laughs> it's, it was more of... <laughs> what did you hear, Google? Right? It was more of like, um, and look, an ice cream truck is... Yo, we have an interruption every single... Is an ice cream truck while that plane was passing while Google was speaking? While Google was speaking. That's a trifecta, right? That's now, a right? trifecta, Jesus. So, that to me, back then, would have led me to think more of, okay, this is how, you know, I, I could envision a woman just not as a sexual thing. I like just, yeah, because I, look, I, I've said this before, right? This is from a movie where the girl told the guy, oh, you only see women as, um, as temporary pleasures instead of meaningful pursuits, right? Temporary pleasures right. instead of meaningful yeah. pursuits. I think that in the youth, a lot of guys... And a lot of girls 
both see each other like that. I agree. We both see each other as temporary pleasures for right now. And that would be a perfect example of perversion. Well, this is the thing. I, if, because the thing is that if somebody's doing something, right, in society, just in general, right, most people won't give it a name until we sit down and we discuss that it's an issue, right? For the moment, yeah, okay, give me for, the for example, in society, we have a standard of, of beauty, right? In society, we have a standard of beauty for men and women, right? Or a man should look like this, mm -hmm. right? Be a tall, slender, broad shoulders, um, whatever, right? Woman, you know, this kind of hair, uh, makeup, nails fixed, you know, all whatever, right? Whatever that standard yeah. is, right? So when we go out into society, we are looking at women and men, and we're saying, you're handsome, you're beautiful, you're not, you're fat, you're you're not pretty because you don't live up to the standard. You're not so we don't realize it, but we're just kind of going in in life, just saying you're pretty, you're not. You're pretty, you're not. You're pretty, you're not. That's an issue in itself. But what do you say that's perversion? Well, hold up, but that's what I'm trying to get at. That's what I'm trying to get at, though. You see, we don't ever say, "Oh, you're perverted because you don't see her as whatever," right? You don't see this person. Um, equally beautiful because she doesn't fit this mold, right? In society, we don't have sit downs, right? And talk about, oh, why are we labeling people this? Why are we labeling people that? Why are we saying this is beautiful? Why are we saying we this is ugly? Them. For example, look at the campaigns. Of, really look at like, the campaigns of more progressive brands now. They're including women that are size, considered plus size right. that would have probably never been in right. a photo shoot before. Now, now, let, now perfect. Now, let's look at that. You do know the bigger heights of complaints. They're picking plus size, plus size women, right? That don't fit the mold, right? The average mold. But they're really picking out like the, like more of the curvier, not the real plus size women. No, but I. They're, they're, no, they're being like, very selective. I didn't say that they, they got it right. I'm right. just saying the conversation is out there. Because you right. said nobody really sits there. I was like, no, there people are sitting there complaining. Yeah, but complaining, but nobody's saying what you're saying. Oh, it's perverted. You get me? No, nobody's giving it those those um, negative titles. Because when you start giving certain things that are natural, like just, oh, this is like a nat. Okay, look, think of it like this. Look at how we dress today, right? Imagine if we could go to a time machine and we could go back to 2006 and we dress just like this. What are we going to be called? Oh, you're fucking gay. Oh, what the fuck are you wearing? You're fucking loser or whatever, right? Because we're not wearing 2XL tees and big baggy jeans. Or a pizza and gas Air, station. Right, and wearing Air Force Ones, right? But during that time, though, what like that? That's that. That was. This is the standard of swag. This is the standard of style in the streets, in the industry, whatever. This is a standard, right? But it's natural. We're not. We're not. Whatever we see that's out of that. We're, what are we saying about it? It's whack. It's lame. That's a perversion in itself. That's, I agree. But we don't talk it's about. A but, but that's what I'm trying to say. That, but we don't talk about because the thing. during that time we weren't saying, "Yo, that's kind of fucked up, man." That you know, like. We kind of call those guys lanes because they don't dress how we dress. And All right. Don't... But that now you're willing to have a conversation and you would say, yo, honestly, I was kind of close-minded. Right? There's growth. But that doesn't mean there wasn't perversion. But that, that but in you would have never called it perversion until you sat down and thought about it. But you wouldn't call That's it, you, no, no, but I was like, you wouldn't even call things perversion now until you actually examine the definition of the word but, itself. But, but this is what I'm trying to get at, though. What I'm trying to get at is that when everybody in society is doing one thing, we don't call it perversion. We don't call it bad. That's what I'm trying to get at. Perversion is bad. Let's get down another way. Yes or no, right? There is a bad thing. There's a negative stigma around perversion, right? So when we, we when we're, when everybody in society is doing one thing, we don't call it bad. We just go with the flow. Oh, that that's just how things are. You mean in general? Or in you general. Mean like us no, no, no. Not us Because me, I would general. disagree. That's, that's a lot of things no, no. I don't... In general. Okay. Just in general. And in, in just... Because look, there's the thing. When people like to say things like, Oh, why is he more successful than you? Right? Or why is this comedian more successful than that comedian? Why is this... Yo, the market is the market is the market. People, right, that buy into these things, they rule the market. Right? They run it. They see that this is good and this is bad. It's not a group of white people sitting down and saying, this is good, this is bad, this is good, this is bad. Maybe it's selective industries where we're all toggled up in one thing, perhaps, right? NBA, uh, acting, Hollywood, whatever, right? But just in general, you can't buy that, right? Social media, all these things. 
They all fall under one thing, right? So perversion and stuff like that is a negative thing, but it's never going to be called that, right? By general population, seen as something bad oh, until yeah. we have the until we sit down, everybody sits down and really considers and thinks about it. Us as individuals, we're nobody, right? Like, like for example, whoever watches the video, right? All of ten people who watch this video, all of three hundred thousand people who watch this video in the future, whatever. You get me? It's, it's gonna be so then to they decide. Okay, well they're having this conversation. Let's talk about it. Let's think about it. They have a point. Maybe they're not. Whatever, right? And then you keep it moving. But when something is normal, like for example, you're saying it's perversion. I just think that when everybody is doing it, for the most part, you won't call it perversion. You get me? If every man is thinking when they see a woman, this that, and the third, you know they think perversion. I'll give you an example of why I think that um, I get what you're saying. Just because people don't call it, but I think just because you don't call it doesn't mean it's not. Is that? Like, I'll give you an example. The kneeling of the flag. People have perverted the purpose of the kneeling of the flag. Mm -hmm. And if you're a uh, military, you're probably going to get offended by this. But nobody is kneeling, disrespecting the flag, disrespecting the national anthem, disrespecting soldiers who have passed away or veterans or someone who's devoted their life and sacrificed their time with their family for the flag and protecting us. No one is disrespecting you. They're simply saying, we don't feel like... African American people have the same value protection of life mm -hmm. as white people. Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying, right? Mm -hmm. You have that clear, I have that clear. Mm -hmm. But how many people keep saying they're disrespecting the US, they're disrespecting the flag? They're perverting the protest. They're perverting the theme and the idea. Yeah. It's like, I, 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 you know, Rosa Parks wasn't, per, wasn't, she wasn't protesting buses mm -hmm. because she wouldn't get up. She was protesting racism. Mm -hmm. But you're going to go and say, oh, she doesn't even want to ride the bus. That's why she didn't want to get up. No. But that's that's perversion. What I mean perversion is when you distort the idea. And when we, just because we everybody else is doing it, that doesn't mean that it's not perversion. So let me ask you something. Then. So you feel that us as men, we should not be looking at women and commenting um, on any sexual body parts. I, I you think, feel. I mean, I just say no, that's no. how you feel. No, no, I don't think it's not that commenting. I think the commenting is simply a reflection of, of how you feel. How you oh, think. so you think we shouldn't even be I think we it. should have renewed mind. We should aim to transform the way we think. Because I understand and I agree with you so, that, that many times you look and you look, it's like a scan. Ding, 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 ding. And I agree with you because that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. We do it whether it's with men, women or with men, right? And I don't mean like you're checking a man out, but you're making a judgment call. Mm -hmm. But I think it's our responsibility. If we want to grow, to choose to renew our minds, to see Why? things different. Why? Because real growth can only happen from within. Mm -hmm. It's not what I say that makes a difference. It's how I really feel, how I really think. Because how many times do we see politicians politically correct in front of a booth? Then when they're recording in the back, they're saying something they should have never said. Mm -hmm. So they're just pretending to play the part. I don't. I don't. I think we shouldn't pretend to play the part because then we're just being a facade. I think we should really push forward to thinking different, to seeing differently. Then our expression really aligns with how we really feel. I don't have to be careful with how I say things because what I say is what I mean. Mm -hmm. No, but I, okay. But this is what I'm understanding. When it comes to, I can understand that, right? To to that point. But I'm talking about just when it comes to women. Why? I think, why should? Okay. Because mind you, I think. Okay, Fatima. She's busy. Fatima, because yeah, I was sleeping. Okay, so what? as a girl, when you see a guy and you sexualize him, I guess, or you're just trying to find him attractive, whatever, what do girls look for? What are you looking at? Body? Mm -hmm. Body, yes. face, shoulders, back. Right. So if we're having this argument opposite, We'll be, we want to be talking about breasts, butts, legs, legs. My shoulders, we'll be talking about shoulders, chest, legs, all that stuff, right? Um, okay. How? That, that, that's, that's a natural thing. I agree. That's, but you're saying you think that we should change that. And my question to you is, why should we change that if those are, those, those are, those are God-given parts, right? Let's get that one out of the way, right? Those are God-given parts that we all are attracted to. So how, how will, if we change that kind of thing, how will we be attracted to a girl? All right, now let me. Now you brought God into this. You know what Jesus said about this? He says, if you lust after a woman, you've already had sex with her in your heart. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says adultery is a sin. Okay, no, let's make this practical. Exactly. Let's and my practical, practical. my practical thing is this. It's simple. You want to get beyond judging a book by its cover in general. Mm 
Okay. I don't just mean in a, in a context of attraction because there's there's certain people that you're gonna be attracted to, right? Is the the chemicals within you, the the the, 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 the that chemical formula of your brain kicking in, mm -hmm. right? There's certain features that you're more prone to be attracted. to. I understand that, but I think that your aim should always be to have a renewed mind that you see things differently because you said it yourself. Is you know we don't call something perverted until everybody agrees that it's, but just because we don't call it perverted doesn't mean we, it's not. And I think that that has to be the... Well, the attraction. I, I know, no, but the attraction is different than sexualization. Because attraction is chemical. You can be attracted to... Okay. For example, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, chemical. I agree with that, yeah. But yeah. sexualizing is a thought process. Well, okay, okay. Th this is what I'm trying to get at, thing, right? So, how... If, let's say, we adopt this, this mindset, right? Of not sexualizing women at all, right? So, I'm a guy who... I like big butts. Let's just say that, right? That doesn't mean that every girl... That I find attractive has a big butt. I agree. I just have that's to what I'm like saying. that that's feature. That's why attraction is chemical. Right, it's it is. It thing. is right. But let's say I adopt this mindset now, right? You know what? I'm I'm going to try not to be looking at girls' boobs or girls' butts. I'm not gonna be trying to do that, right? If I see something from you, it's gonna be your face. And I understand where you're coming from because I went through that kind of a stage at one point in my life, right? I understand where you're getting at with that. So I'm only gonna look at a girl's face. Like, I'm gonna try, right? Like I'm doing this, like, cause it's intentional. I can, technically speaking, if I adopt this mentality, I adopt it correctly, right? I will be only attracted to a girl by her face. But I'm not, I'm trying my best not to look at her boobs or her butt. And if I do, I'm looking, or I'm like not trying to like think about nothing wrong about it. How am I going to be attracted to a girl? Because first of all, let's get one thing out of the way, right? You, when you have your wife and you tell the story to anybody, oh, um, what what attracts you most about your wife? You're gonna say what attracts you physically most about your wife. They say, oh, her mind. No, no, I agree. Her, she's funny. I, know, I, I, I hate when girls say shit I hate when girls say that. Like, oh, I love his mind. Like, first of all, it was a, there was a physical attraction. I agree with yeah. you that. But so what I'm saying is that what does that disappear? You said no, but you said the key word was try. Mm -hmm. Because no one is perfectly saying, yo, I only look at a girl's eyes. Let's be honest. I have certain dispositions and attraction in women, and you know it, and everybody here knows it, right? That there's a certain body type that I like, there's certain features that I like, mm -hmm. right? My goal is not saying I don't like these features anymore. My goal is saying I don't want to see every woman just as a piece of meat, just like men, women should not see men as a piece of meat either. That is what I'm ultimately saying. Okay, I think that that, okay, so th that you said that, and you could proceed if you correct me wrong. I think that that's up to the man. If the man says, you know what? I'm open to getting married and I'm open for a relationship. That shouldn't change how you look at a woman ever. Okay? Because you're open to having a relationship. Look, okay, let's get me. I don't want a relationship. I don't want a girlfriend right now, right? I just don't. Ever in my entire life, right? You know, I don't ever want to get married. I don't want a girlfriend. And if you say, oh, why don't you want to have a girlfriend? It's because I don't want to get married. That's essentially yeah. why, right? There's no point in me having a girlfriend, right? And being with somebody that I know that I'm not going to marry. You're probably going to want to get married. We're going to break up anyways later on. and Whatever, you get me? That whole nine, right? So if I have a mentality where I'm open to a relationship, I'm a mature adult, I'm open to a relationship, I want to have a relationship, that, that in itself entitles you to do whatever it is that you want to do with your mind, with your eyes, because you're open to it. You're not looking at a girl, oh, she's just a piece of meat. If you're a guy who's like, I just want to all day, that's all I want to do, I don't care, I don't give a F about nothing, then you say, oh, you only look at a girl as a piece of meat, because your only intention is to smash this girl. Would that be and that's perverted? It. No, I don't think that's perverted. What is perverted? So what is perverted? I already told you what I think perverted is. Now, by definition, if we go the definitions like that, maybe I get proven wrong. But at least growing up and how I've always heard perverted. Yeah, and exactly. align with things. So you have a stigma is, of it. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Right. So just because we have certain stigma I'm doesn't mean that a, that is defined this is what I'm by saying. it. I'm saying to adopt that mindset, I don't think it's correct. Because I don't think it's coming from the right place. I think that... It's all about where the man is. It's not about... I don't think there's nothing wrong with you looking at a girl and saying, Damn, she has a fat ass. And you, you know what? The thing is that sometimes is how we say things. You'd be like, damn, she yeah. has a... She has, you know... Like, that tone, like, the tone makes a big like, difference. Right, sure. like, you'd be like, oh my... Like, I know some girls, if I said, you would be like, oh my God, this guy is like, ugh, right? I'd be like, yo, I'm not gonna lie, but that girl has a nice body, right? That's the toned down version of me saying, yo, she got a fat ass, she got a big ass, whatever. That's necessarily... I said the same thing. I just I'm saying it one way here. I'm saying it another way here. So I can say, yo, that girl has a really nice. Like I'm not lying. That girl has a really nice body, and honestly, she has a really like pretty face, and like she has a nice smile. 
And like she looks like she really looks good. I'm not gonna lie, she looks really good. She dresses very well. And she's like, nigga, she's like a really well put together girl. But I can say, yo, that bitch is stupid <laughs> fine, bro. Oh my god. But I can say shit like that. And it's I'm saying the same thing, literally. It's just that I'm taking different kinds of tones. I don't think that there's anything wrong with anybody saying that. Saying, yo, just like girls like, damn, but he has a nice chest. Damn, he has nice abs. He has nice arms. He has a nice fake jawline. You get me? Those are things that we're naturally attracted to because it's the physical things that we're looking at anyways. Yeah, so I don't think that I think, that mindset, I, think, but I, uh, I think... I don't know, man. If you want to base yourself on what perversion means, I would still think that that is perverted. Okay. On what it means. Not on how you feel, not on how I feel, on right. what it means, I think it's still perverted. Okay. I just think that at the end of the day, when it comes down to just men and women... It, in general, just men and women, I don't think women have a problem with men checking them out and men saying, you got a fat ass. I don't think so now, either. Right. But I, I, I don't think, I, I, I think that doesn't not make you a pervert either. Okay, so I guess let's just clarify this one more time so we can end this conversation, right? Because agree to disagree, whatever. Is perverted a negative thing in the world, period? Yes or no? In to the you, world? Or to you or by definition? By definition, yeah. It's, it's, a, negative. it's a negative. It is a negative thing. Now, to you. Is a man checking out a woman and a woman checking out a man in their sexual things or whatever? Because that's what we're looking at. In reality, believe it or not, that's what we're looking at, right? You work out and you have nice arms. And guess what? When you're out and about, girls are going to look at you and say, you got a nice face. You got a nice set of hair. You got a nice jawline. You that's got some nice so arms. Nice like, yeah, that's no. Nice. I was saying, and you, you dress well. And that's what they're saying about you because they don't know who Christian is, right? And when I go out in the world, they're saying... Drake me to me. No, no. Uh, they're saying, <laughs> no. You have a... You know, you're kind of short, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what else you got going on for you, but you know, that's what they're saying, right? That's what they're basically saying about me, right? But Fatima goes out of the way, like, oh, you're pretty fresh, you know, you got cool hair, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, when, whatever, you get what I'm getting at, right? You, you understand what I'm getting at. That's what girls and guys, whatever, are saying about Christian, right? I when they first saying. see you. I understand what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, that, that's what they're saying. Now, I'm going to give you my answer, I, I know what the question is. I know what the question is. The question is, so in that case, are they perverted, right? Blah, blah, blah. That's the question. Actually no, I I just I was I was gonna even ask a question. I was gonna I'm just trying to end it towards okay. a more a so, stated so thing. So I, I I think it's just it has to be like what is your idea of perversion? I think that's what that's the ultimate answer to this. Like to end this conversation. Okay, well, about, that, to end this conversation, yeah. I think that's the ultimate yeah. idea. Like if you see perversion as an insult and not a matter of fact, yeah. right? Then yes, I guess you can. I I understand why you have this whole rant of why perversion shouldn't be used. But if I see perversion as a matter of fact, like the way I do, then I think we're all perverted. Okay. But that we should. This is what I think. I think perverted. the comments right now should be based on that, and based on is Georgia pervert? Yes. Right? That's what I think. I That's think, what, and I think the answer is thing, yes. This, this is how this whole thing started. And I still think the answer is yes. Thing, this whole thing started as you're a pervert. You don't see women as a whole, whatever, right? I simply said all I'm doing is simply appreciating a woman's body. That's all I'm doing. That's literally all I'm appreciating her body. By my eyes and by what I'm saying about it. Now, I can stay quiet about it. I'm not going to do that because I'm with the guys. That's like, whack. Like, exactly. Yeah. That is whack. I'm going I'm, I'm to tell you. Yo, bro, look at that right there. Yeah. Right? That, so, at the end of the day, I don't think I'm a pervert. I don't I don't fucking say what this little kid over here says. Some bullshit about how I would. Nah, I don't say shit like that. So, I definitely didn't say that shit. I, but I, we beat this donkey to death. So, I think yeah. that's it, guys. So, you guys better know. Am I wrong? And do I think... Are you guys offended when I say somebody's a perv? Then if it is, then read a dictionary. God bless your soul. God bless America. Follow, subscribe, comment. Just want to hear your comments.